Handheld Legend Prototypes Let's test a prototype USB-C mod for the Game Boy Advance SP that Handheld Legend will be releasing soon. Today, we'll be installing and testing the new mod, as well as looking out for any changes that may need to be made. First up, let's remove the old port. This is quite simple with hot air, I just made sure to apply a good amount of flux and move the air constantly. After only a few minutes, the solder loosened up and I was able to remove the port with just a set of tweezers. Once I got the port off, I decided to clean up the area and make sure that no pads were damaged in any way. Since those all checked out good, I decided to remove all the solder from the pads as well as the through holes on either side of the port. Now that we have the motherboard ready, let's get the USB-C module ready. All we have to do is remove these two black pieces of plastic on the bottom of each alignment pin. They should simply just pull off. Now we have to align the port. This is where I noticed the first potential problem. It's possible to place the module too close to the CPU and that will make soldering it way more difficult and it will also recess the port into the console. Taking note of that, I repositioned the mod to be aligned with the top edge of the Game Boy motherboard. Once it was aligned correctly, everything looked good, so I flipped the console over and soldered the two through hole pins in place. They will also act as your ground connections. Once they were soldered, I simply cut off the extra bits of the alignment pins with a set of flush cutters. From here, I flipped the console over one more time and soldered the one pin that's needed for charging the Game Boy Advance SP. After that, I pulled out my USB-C cable and tested the port. Since it all checked out, I began installing the board back into the console. This is where I noticed the next issue. The adapter for the port to fit into the shell sticks out slightly too far and protrudes out of the shell by about a millimeter or less. So I had to take the file and import it into Fusion 360 in order to adjust the file so that it would fit better. Once I was happy with the changes I made, I sent the file over to our resin printer to get a sample made. A couple hours and a few iterations later, we now have a port spacer that sits perfectly in the shell. Now that we have that sorted out, we can finish putting our console back together to put it through some more trial testing over a couple days of playing and charging the console. The Handheld Legend USB-C port mod is in development and should be releasing soon. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look into product creation, then be sure to subscribe and check out our wiki for more content related to handheld modding.